Ready? Yeah. Now here's a little story that I got to tell about three bad brothers that you know so well. It started way back in history with that rock, MCA, and me, Mike D. Hello, everyone. Woo! What we're gonna do right here is go back, way back, back into time. The Beastie Boys. The Beastie Boys. The Beastie Boys. The Beastie Boys. In the early 80s, everyone in our scene was in a band. We wanted to be rappers so bad, but we were mediocre at best. Now hit it, hot, just don't stop. Most rappers hold their rhymes in little pieces of paper, right? We went from being famous in a 14-block radius to being on tour with Madonna and Rick Rubin. The shows kept getting bigger and bigger. We morphed from making fun of party bros to actually becoming those dudes. We were burning out. I just didn't even recognize the person that I had become at that point. Yo, hold up. It's not over yet. Go. There's not that many times in your life when you realize you're in a new chapter. The Beastie Boys are back after a six-year absence. We changed how we wanted to be as people and friends. We got inspired, and while experimenting, we found our voice. <laughs> really? High five? Yeah, yeah, it's coming back, Adam, it's coming back. Adam Yao was the driving force. The one that not only gets themselves going and doing great things, but says we should all do this. Yao was that type of friend. Yauk, Mike, and I have spent more time with each other than with our own families. It's not like all of it was easy or highlight-filled, but who gets to work every day with their two best friends? I 